Things are connected to the Las Palmas orphanage. Father Rominski. So in this case, you do all three. Yeah, look. It's just too bad that the rest of the clergy took a vow of silence the minute things started to get hairy for him. But Finn told Felicity that Rominski had some kind of secret room at the orphanage. Couldn't find any reference to this in the police records. I guess it's time for me to head over to Las Palmas and take another look. So in this case, I'm doing all three investigations because I had Finn on the uh, free to take me to that house in my first playthrough. I never did the third investigation. Huh. But now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try... Oh, by the way, we never found out who this was taking pictures of her. But I'm going to try to not find this, this, the playroom this time. I'm going to see what happens if you don't find the playroom. Sorry, Maya the Bees. Sadly, this game does not have any masturbating ghosts like Beyond Two Souls did. Sorry. I know, it's a major oversight. <clears throat> Alright, so... There, I didn't find this in the first run. There. I'm going to find those two, but I'm purposely not going to find the fr the the third one. I'm not going to find it on purpose. Okay. A strange quote. And Bob Saget's family. Very odd. <laughs> How's it going? Wait a minute! The, the safe room problems? door is open! What the fuck was that? Fuck I'll you. you in when I get to the station. Wait, wait, wait. Did you fuck find you, that? Tom. Hung up on Tom. Dude, did you see that there was an error? The safe room door was open in that scene, even though she didn't find it. It was an error. Yeah, that was a mis an oversight by the game devs. They didn't realize that. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to try to not find the nanny cam. So if she doesn't find the safe room, she didn't see the, the, the sweatsuit or a good look at the sweatsuit of the guy who ran from her. She H doesn't find the nanny PM. cam. She has no evidence. Visiting the crime scene of Detective Jack Calvary's murder. Going to have a closer look at the bedroom first. It's not that big of a place, but I always have to wonder if the forensic team missed something. So, I don't want to find the nanny cam. What's that? Oh, the, the shells. I found the shells and the bed. That's all I want to find. I don't want to find the nanny cam. I'm just going to find those two and see what happens. <laughs> oh. Bloody mess. Marks spread outward on the headboard. From the, uh, the origin of the blast. Forensics confirmed that the bullets were fired from Calvary's gun. But why? Damn. So she missed two critical pieces of evidence that could have helped break the case.
contacts. Who would you like to call? Domino's, I'm starving. Felicity Graves. Calling Felicity Graves. No, Pizza Hut, hey, they've Felicity? got those pools of I cheese back up. again in the crust. I'm Can not even kidding, up? they have it back now. I want to go over some evidence. Yeah, of course. Felicity, uh, would you like some pools bar? of cheese? Great. Big, heaving, greasy pools of cheese. There you go. So there's a lot okay, missed there. That's the end of part two. Hit the box when you're ready to move on. That's seriously a ton missed right there, right? Now, here's the thing. I know there's only about a half an hour left, so I'm just going to keep going and just finish this up, my second run. I'll go a little bit later here on my, my gameplay session than I usually do to try to finish this up, since we know it's almost over. Felicity decided not to take Finn's story to Judge Vanstone. Jonathan Finn remained on death row. Becky advised against Felicity going to the judge. Jonathan Finn remained on death row. Here you go. Tom told Becky that Calvary, Calvary secretly filmed his partners during sex. Thank you, Jean d'Arc, for 700 bit cheer. Says, just popped in to say hi. Busy with working crap. I'll definitely be back for your night nice stream. Good. See you tonight. Becky talked Vernon down after he pulled a gun on her, and Vernon revealed his brother's links to corrupt cops. There you go. And now. Part three of Hidden Agenda. This is a very different from the first run. And this we have no evidence of who the killer is at all. We have zero evidence. Nothing to tie anything to anything right now. Huh. Thirteen hours until Finn's execution. I went back to the crime scene to see if Forensic missed anything, but came up empty. Wait, did they clear you for that? Of course they did. Of course. <laughs> Thanks. I wish we could find the hooker that was with Calvary. That'd at least be a place to start. Maybe Finn's right, and Adam Jones is the one behind all this. But if he really is the one doing all this, where is he now? You know what? It's pretty late. Ah, <sighs> yeah. My advice, sleep on it. Take all this to surgeon in the morning. Damn, that's it. So she's not going to investigate the house because she can't. She all has right. no evidence. See ya. Right. <sighs> but she still gets drunk. Oh, her battery's dead. What the hell? So she didn't get drugged. In this case, she doesn't get drugged, but her battery dies. Wow, this is totally different. What's going on here? Oh my god, look! She gets drugged? Oh god! No, I stopped it! She stopped it! Holy shit! No! Oh! I did it too! The cursor was on it. It still said X. That's bullshit. What happens here now? Hey, Lana. Check your email now. What email? Oh. Whoever did this makes a compelling argument Marnie killed Calvary. Oh! Well, more than just Calvary. Play the audio. Cannot believe the mouth on this Marnie chick. We gotta be careful, or she'll blow this whole operation. What'd she say? Threatened me. Us. All of us. She's out of control. Someone's been holding on to that for years. Did you recognize the voices? No. Should I? It's been confirmed. There are two of the officers killed by the trapper. Look, Marnie's been weird, and yeah, she had motive. And? She didn't have opportunity. How do you know? She was with me the night that right. Avery died. Right. Uh, I mean, if she didn't, it'd be one hell of a trick. Mm -mm. The alibi saves her in this case. Ah. Well, this is bullshit. I did try. I did fucking get, do that. And I was over the fucking thing. And it said I didn't do it. Give me an X. That's bullshit. She got punched the fuck out. 
And no hunting out games. I don't think I can give you much advice on unclocking your toilet. <laughs> if the plunger don't work, you need a toilet snake or they got stuff you could buy at the store that might work. But I don't really have any magic uh, fixes for that. Sorry. So now the same thing happens. She wakes up here. Damn it. Sucks. I didn't want this to happen. I wanted it to be a different scenario. But it didn't work out because of the fucking bullshit quick time. So now I'm going to try different stuff with this and see what happens. 